dude? What's up, dude? <laughs> Flames could be shooting out of one of the ends. I mean, come on, guy. Let's all work together here. We do whatever we want. Right now, we're in the editing office. Uh, we'll take it to the halfway redone studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's sound, dude. Oh my god. It couldn't have been better timing. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Wow, up, what boys? timing, Sal? Welcome to the party. You got a, you got a one-liner for the people? A lot more. You gotta do more. God I have a damn. surprise for him, too. He's, in, he's not ready for that. This is a little studio. Looking good, Steve. Appreciate it. Steve wants more. He's doing more. Hey. Want more you know how more. You know how it works. Here it is. So, sales office, editing office. There is the um, look, studio action. It's getting redone. Bigger office for Rana, because Rana's the is queen of the place. Hey, this is where the real grind takes place, boys. Here's a lunchroom for the everyone to smack lunch. You got a pool table in here. I just gotta say, this is where you definitely lose money. <laughs> That's uh, a fact. Five minutes over, it's out of here. You know, statistically, if you give someone a nap after lunch, they'll be more efficient. So you might add a little cots in here and let them take their naps. Oh, is this China? <laughs> Actually, we'll show you up front real quick. This is a quick little tour. It's been a while. The channel's going live again, We've bro. never shown this ever. This is probably crazy, actually. You have no idea. So, all these power rack, you can see some of it's for own boss, a few bits for some other brands. There's some big brands rolling here. Uh, this is where all of our inks for our t-shirts are stored and mixed. It's, a, it's basically a mini paint lab. I mean, if Peter was here, you could probably explain it a little better than me, but... Is that paint by numbers? Hey, you gotta dummy proof some things. So this machine right here, I don't wanna get too into the... We'll do a whole print video. Actually, I'm gonna save it. If you guys wanna know how much it costs, let me know. Hey. And how much you wanna see in our videos. What are the initials of this machine? DTF. So if you're down to find out, stay tuned. Oh! oh! This is at the showroom in a sense, right? So you have the blank room in here. We can get every, everything you want. We can get your car heart. We can get you just about anything you want. It's pretty sweet. Blank room, little showroom. Here's Peter's brand. This is two putt. If you guys golf and you want some badass apparel, two putt.com. Got the Harley setup. You got some stuff. Here's where the money's made. Usually the team gets together. We sit down. But uh, you have some nice prints we made. And then basically, this is where the homies make some money for everybody. Is all done right here. So everyone gets paid. Sitting on this desk right here, everyone's brainstorming, and it's where it rolls. Usually. A lot of masterminding. Alright, mystery game of the day. How much do you guys think Peter wasted on a gumball machine? He bought 850 oh, gumballs. Oh my god. So he bought about 3,000 because he put two boxes in there. And those are like $200 each. So how much did Peter spend? Oh. Two, four, six, he spent $300 on that. What's that, Steve? Uh, 900 bucks. That's right. Holy what a waste of smokes, fucking money. Dude. Don't let Peter have money because he blows it on dumb shit. Unbelievable. That's the game of the day. What did Peter waste his money on? There it is. Gumball? Oh, yeah. I've run these on. They're hard mm. to fucking rock. On to the next thing, baby. Here's the uh, the merch aisles. It's a mess right now. We're redoing have a client onboarding, so there's shit everywhere, as you can tell. But yeah, it's kind of a mess right now. Don't judge it. This is the cleanest print shop and filming shop that I've ever stepped into. And right now, it's the dirtiest I've ever seen it. So don't judge us. We'll get into it later. We'll do a whole shop overview. We have the embroidery machines over there. What's that noise? It sounds like money making activities. What do we got going today? Can you give the people a breakdown of what you're doing? I'm packing every size of the 279DTs and the Roll the Dice Tees. Dang, what's a 279D? Skid steer. Ooh, what do we do? Right with, what do we do with skid steers? Do whatever we want. <laughs> I like Start that. Start a business. Wow. <laughs> By the way, Kristen is one of the coolest people I remember my entire life. She has two, not one, two M series vehicles that to me is like super impressive. It's incredible. It's, you ever see a chick driving around an M3, which is sick, and then an X? 3M? X X3M. Sick. Dang, get it right. We got red guts on the inside? Yeah. We got what? red interior and we have the competition package. So we have. Ooh! Yeah. That's, that is a comp. Yeah. So we've right. got the M stitching on yeah, you got it. A good spot. It's making like 515 wheel. It, it is a fun drive. It's worth the smiles. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe we'll do a video on Chris and ripping the. Uh, X, X. I want I want one. Like this super sick. sick. X3M. That's what it is. Yep. Comp two. More onboarding for different clients over here. It's not on boss. And then we have the money makers, which literally print money. Here is a uh, here's our landlord, Craig, CSM. This dude's super sweet. Locally, he has a huge mechanics company that basically, man, they do underground, they do a lot of I look up to them, it's crazy. They have like hundred employees, they're, they're huge. Construction based, they're doing multi-million dollar projects all the time. Growing up with that type of shit, I'm like, wow, that's really cool. But anyways, this is the storage, hard storage, long storage, basically blank storage. So you buy $20,000 worth of black t-shirts that are gonna get printed for X client. They come in, put on the shelves, and they get prepped for printing. So this is all t-shirts here. 
This is, uh, this is the print setup. Like I said, it's a little dirty right now, but <laughs> we'll get some B-roll. We'll do a whole shot too. This is not the video right now. We we um, did we did talk about the queen of this place. Who is this? She is the queen. This is Rana. Rana right here. Rana's like to be on camera. Well, she's gonna get used to it because yeah, something's got paid a bill right here. You know what I'm saying? That's right. What happened with the dryer? We got hoodie stuck because the dryer is very narrow, and the summer bunch up. We used the hook to get it, and then the hook got caught in the belt, and then it kept moving and tearing a hole in it. And we couldn't stop it. Unreal. The belt's like. Three grand. I might have heard how much you thought it was. How much did you think it was originally? What, did I, what was my number? 80 bucks or something that we said last night. It's close. Yeah. <laughs> like it shouldn't, I mean, we can do it. should happen. Yeah. No, no one's mad about it. Right. It's like, it's just like, damn, you know. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner, actually, if I'm being honest, because. I thought it was incredible that it goes through and stays at 500 degrees all day long. Like, think about that. This is a crazy piece of technology. It's, uh, there are worse tragedies. You know, hey man, flames could be shooting out of one of the ends. You know, it could be shaking for some unbeknownst reason. It's a pretty nice dryer, honestly. It really is. And actually, the story behind this is we found this back at the old shop. We found this dryer on Facebook, or one of his sellers, for like 30 grand. And this thing's like 90 grand new. And we couldn't really afford a 30, but we're like, dude, we had to buy it. So it sat in the parking lot. We wrapped it up with, in uh, like the blue you know, wrap it, shrink wrapping, and we shrunk, like, shrink wrapped it, put it in the parking lot, and it was snow all over, it was rain all over, it's like, oh my god, like, for a whole hope year. It, hope it works. You remember that, Steve? It was sitting in the parking lot for a whole year. The land was, we're gonna kick you out if you don't move, we're like, we, I don't know if I'd move back yet for that. No, you didn't. No? We sit there forever because we needed it, we couldn't, like, have anywhere to put it yet. Then we got this shop, and now, you know, it's that's incredible. the first problem we've had since then, so. And cool. It's good. No, these are for bundles they'll be shipping out tomorrow. Now they gotta go around and get the back still print on them. So when you guys ask where the bundles at or the merch, it's like print it all. It takes a long time. Okay. Look, how, look how the shirts in there. It's like you know. Do, 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 do. There's our fix. It's very tempered. Hey, guess what? You got to keep production moving. All right, so oh. no, we're feeling too damn loud. Yeah. Dang, dude. Papa pulled up in the AT4. First of all, I bet you it's unlocked. Oh, yeah. this is your dad's? Oh yeah. Yep, trash. You don't want to see the inside of it because it's a work truck. Um, yeah, what uh, what do you got going on here? What I'm about to do? 23 TRX. Uh, bought it brand new, unfortunately. The Lunar Edition. We're gonna scare Sal. Sal like hates being out of control, and I'm gonna just jump it like two feet in the air. Nothing crazy. Just but. two feet. Just eight thousand pounds. We'll start. Do what? Don't do what? I would never do something stupid. Really? I would never really? jump. I would never jump a truck with you. Why do you want to wreck the truck, Frank? You're really? You no, no. ever jumped a vehicle? I don't want to. I just had lunch. Are you getting nervous right now? Don't get so nervous. It's just a little jump. It's made to jump. It's made to jump, dude. It's a jump, Sam. Freaking moron. Why do you do this to your truck? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna sell it? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it's a full size pickup and you can do that. Now, mind you, I've done that probably 20 times, 30 times maybe. I don't know, a lot. So, I'm thinking with the property is that if she, for the yard down, she was asking 525 for it, which is overpriced, and then Mimo already got her down to 430 just on the phone. And she wants to do land contract. I don't know what her terms are though, but she does land contract with it. And then you can put eight, nine houses on there. But I'm just curious in the easement, because you pull it up. Did you see the picture of it? No. See right here? See, this is the easement? 70 feet? I don't think it's gonna. Like, can you turn a fire engine around that? Because that's what that rule is, right? Basically? Is that. No, you gotta be able. To, the vehicle has to be able to turn around and come back. Like that's why they have. Oh, like it, in the oh, way back of the yeah. property, that's fine. What about the easement off the road though? It's, it's, Seventy feet wide. Twenty-six foot is a road. Yeah, I know, but I just don't. Twenty-two feet is. I a don't road. know what the law, what the code is for having a. You have to have an easement. Because if you can put nine homes in there, and the back is already, like back here is all neighborhood. Like these are all houses right here. Like right there is houses, 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 and this is just a stretch of land. Yeah, James. What, what did he say about the water? Can't get on around. He's here to cut it off. He's about to let it. He's giving me to the last person in the park. I mean, he's going to cut it and go or... So they're going to cut it. They're going to cut the water off without... And, you're, and you can't yeah. get a hold of somebody even to try to pay this thing? The number. Well, te te text it to me, James. I'm, I'm driving. Okay. I'll right. Can you pull this out? Don't, don't beat up the truck. Come on, you don't get to get a ticket. Just drive normal like a normal person. Drive normal. Frank, we know it's 
fast. I mean, it's, it's what's like, a, well, what's but point you know it's fast. But what's I the mean, point of buying it if you don't do that? It's not going to break. It's built for it. I can do it for 100,000 miles probably before it breaks. It's Chrysler. Here, I can find it. So, uh, should have brought the briefs today. Hey, you never know what's going to happen today, dude. Facts. The problem. So, what, uh, what this is right here is from that fence line to probably that line right there, which the idea is to take and put in the road, pave a road, or gravel but paved, out to here, and, uh, develop it. It's on here. You just got, you don't know exactly where it's at, but even if it's wood a little bit, it's not a big deal. Okay, well, it's not even that big of a deal. It's a little bit of forestry. I mean, I'll do it myself. You can also get creative and make a community pond out of it. Bass fishing. Yep. That's what I would do. Funnel everything to the runoff right here. It's an easy place to go, right? That's why most neighbors have ponds. If I'm honest, I think this right here is their land. I don't think our land starts right here. Yeah, remember the name? Yeah, it's the Eklund there. Like Fence post right here? I wouldn't mind that because you have this guy in a nice little farm field right here. So the fence, fence. And you do a fill right here that's water. Not a big deal. What are your thoughts? For the right price, everything is doable. It's a nice piece of property, though. A little sure concerning is. is a little wet area, but you can make it work. It. Turn it into something. You know what you could do? You could have one of the houses back up to the wetland. Are you getting tired of walking or counting? He's, mad. Count. He's tired of counting and walking. <laughs> the brain cells are overheating. 77, 83, 100 now. He goes, yeah, that's it. Let's go right there. This is 100 right here. No, it can't be 100 feet. Yeah? No. I guess so, yeah. It's definitely 100 feet. Because it's like 120 to second base from home plate. That's about right. That's 100 feet. Yeah. Right. Okay. I can tell you where it goes. Right there's the line. That's why, the one, that's why it's kind of cut. What line? That's Where that tree right is? There. Yeah. 2, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's for sure. This is 50. Right here. Yeah. This is 150. It goes down to there. I think that's what it is. It goes all the way to hell down. This is their property. Okay. Yes, it is. Look. Comes off 600 feet from the road. Oh, okay. And then it opens up to 337 wide by 227. Oh, how, how far is it from the road? Road is 70 feet wide and it comes off 650 feet. Boom. 650 feet in. It opens up to 337. Down to 2720. So, just 80, 90,000 square feet, roughly. She's already approved for six homes. Okay. It's now what you're going to do with your road, because you don't want to go on his property, you want to buy him out. No, and you, you don't want to go. Plenty, you got plenty of room for the road. You put no, up, with this, the wetlands. You just, can, what do you call it? You can create another wet spot for him, or you could, well, you could put a culvert, you're not going to kill it. You got to get a survey and see if it's dedicated wetland. Mm -hmm. Well, she wants to buy a contract so you can get 50, 50 grand down on a property, and you have all your capital for your home. How's the property look? Not that law actually. No, there's two a couple things you gotta find out. What Aesthetics. Kind of turnaround you have to do for the uh, emergency vehicles, and then you're gonna have to get permission from the from the county to put an approach here. And what do you do with the little standing water? First yeah. things first, you gotta get you gotta get a survey. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. But that, that why I like that is you have an easement and you can make that pretty aesthetic for people that want to live in the country. People don't want to live around the road. All right. This area is going to make look, some look, calls. Look, look at this. Look, see how it's growing out? You want to see Chris's house? Yeah. Is he there? Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, we're going to talk to this guy. He's a survey. Ain't too much out there for sale. I'm not, not laying up here like that. I looked at the yesterday one and looked at six properties, and all of them were kind of like eight. Half of them were all wetlands you couldn't build on them, and they were still asking 200 grand for five, 10 acres. It's like, come on. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm missing one call. Yeah, I just uh, I just walked the property. Mm -hmm. Do you have a you have a survey? Yeah, I have. Can you can you send it to me? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hello. Sorry, I don't know what just happened. No, I said okay. I sent to you. I'm looking for right now. Oh, okay. Wait, how long how long you own the property for? Uh, we own it since 2000, 2000. 2000 2001. Okay. Yeah. And then it's zoned for six properties already? Six houses? They, let me show you. The township tell me at least says, at least says. It's what? Okay, I sent to you. I sent to you. I five for you. I sent to you. Okay. I uh, just text Thank me. You. Text me. Thank you. Bye bye. Right now we're going to see Chris's new property. What nice. Chris bought a barn and minium. I haven't seen it yet, so we're going to check it out. We saw it there. So we got to play it. He's going to turn it off. Okay. Is he going to turn it off or turn it on? Turn it off. Well, you didn't send me a text. I, how am I supposed to call and pay? Yeah, I just got his text. I'm out of town. Let me uh, let me call the, your, these people here and get this thing to take care of for me, all right? Yeah, I've been doing this for three hours now. I need I I can't give him any more time. My boss is harping on me to get it turned off. Well, like I said, I've 
I'm gonna call and pay for it, so it'd be silly to charge this poor man another $75. Well, I mean, come on, guy. Let's all work together here. I, I mean, what the hell? Sir, I mean, I, I've been. I, I understand I, it, but I, I mean, mean I'm not. I don't want to pay another $75 for the guy. I mean, what? Are you, they're not gonna fire I, you. I'll give you a job, making you three times what they're probably paying you. So. Yeah, I, I don't. Come on. I'm man. not big on excavation anymore, man. What company is this? DTV? No, some private company. I'm, Where I'm pissed. In Michigan? Yeah, it's a tra he's in a trailer park and it's a private company that owns a water line. Oh, Scammers. Scamming. Well, so what do we got to do so this yeah. poor man gets some water? Are you paying it right now? I'm, that's why I'm call I called the number. Can we pay over the phone? How do you do this? Let me see if he's actually physically turned off yet. Well, it sounded like the young man was shutting the water off, so physically they turned it off. $552. So. Okay. Right. Do you need the confirmation there? Uh, yes, please. You know how they skirted all that law? They have water. For the community and then if you don't they subbed it out to a third party agency so now they can stick it to them this is pretty sweet this is dope what's up dude welcome this place looks sick welcome congrats thank you absolutely give a chris rundown dude so we're gonna do probably eight foot or ten foot tall doors 60 feet wide so right here and then Three, four post lifts right here, so you can drive directly on. One, two posts. This is sick. Dude, this is way bigger than I thought. Uh, me too, it Holy looks... Holy shit. It looks smaller in photos. Hell yeah. Rich nigga, I buy you my fresh you build a bank. My bitch, you just want to get in my shit. Lord, you bitch, you ain't. Fell in love with a hood, brand is you. Hell, give us your thoughts. At a certain point, he's only, he's only got so many neurons. My brother down the road with a stand up on his shit. The reason I'm excited is because you don't have half a million dollars in cash. Yep. That's why I'm excited. To get it done, what I'm saying is to start the process faster before someone else snags it, get the land on a land contract, you roll into it, make sure the payoff fee doesn't destroy because she wants her interest or not pay her fee, you get the 50 grand, you start you start moving some dirt around, you get some plans rolling around, like easy. I would do that and then you pay the land off and you can start getting the loans. The house, but until, I don't know, I think that's, that can be negotiated. You can't assume no. What's your question with them though? Telling you is like telling a, a blind man how to read a book. I definitely don't know this a little bit. No. I'm not. The reason like, I'm not. I, I built subdivisions, but I understand it. Like, it's, like I want to find out how we can run the road, or maybe we have to run on the opposite side and make that more of a, a natural preserve, so you don't have to mess with it. Just kind of come around with the road, the and right then side? if or yeah. the the water, for the water, just make that where the house, the backyards would be. I think that that is right. I think half that pond is the other owners, though. No, it's not. It's ten feet wide from the fence line. Oh, I gotta yeah. pee. I'll talk to him. I'm gonna print it. I'm gonna piss in parking lot. Yeah, I'm not. Hey, boy. All right, so we uh, we checked on the parcel. It actually might work. So we're gonna we're gonna hit up this lady and figure out if we can uh, if we can lock this in or not, or if it's gonna work. We have, we have a few things to do. Oh my god, <clears throat> we got a few things to do though. We got some due diligence to do. We have a little bit of calling around, checking out the surveys, doing a little bit of research, seeing what future homes could possibly go for, and what style we want to do, and what we can even put in there. So a lot a lot of things. It's just kind of the first step in a building process. Obviously, he's done it plenty of times. This would be my first straight build, but you guys saw we talk shit to each other. But like, I, you know, I understand I have a lot to learn though. And I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes along the way. So, um, if we do do this, so uh, excited though. You guys did see Chris's freaking Barnumian, which is inspiring me a little bit. Maybe that this property could be a Barnumian property. You never know. It's pretty inspiring. I mean, I was looking around like, holy shit, this is sweet. Like these videos. You want more of the construction, build, random stuff, truck, whatever. We do a lot of stuff. Subscribe to me right now. Give me a like, and then let me know below. Oh, whoa. Says on one also getting an aviation child only know. let me know about down below if you guys like the content and what you want to see more of and uh hopefully i can go pick up a d9 and start blowing that property apart because uh, it sounds super sweet i am most excited is you know maybe destroying the whole thing i don't know cutting down the trees and getting a mulch head and destroying it with a skid steer or a d9 moving some earth around sounds pretty fun i've done it in years on that note peace out guys thank you for watching subscribe like comment say what's up and peace out